and I came in with arthritis in both of my thumbs. I was about 20 pounds overweight. I thought I was relatively healthy. I was trying to continue to work out, but I had two herniated discs in my back, which were triggered from working excessively. I was working at a downtown firm where I was working about 14 hours a day. And I had very hard time getting up and down when it came to sitting without having aches in the lower part of my um, thigh and hip area. And so I had been cracking my back a lot, thinking that would make it better for a while until finally uh, someone forced me and said, you have to go see a doctor. And I was very lucky because I saw this doctor. And the reason I say that is he didn't beat around the bush. He basically said um, that I, I could still bend down and I still had some immobility and that having back surgery had a high percentage of failure uh, and that there were more holistic ways to figure out how to do it. Although he'd be happy to have me do some medical ways, he suggested I might consider both options because the problem was I was really not able to get up and down and, I, and when I would wake up, I was very stiff and I was having trouble sleeping because of the excruciating pain. And also, I had never had arthritis before in both of my thumbs, so I'm just gonna say that because I think it's really important and I couldn't figure out what any of these issues were. Um, that one meeting, I learned something about eating better and I thought I ate fine because I ate a lot of salmon and I ate a lot of salad and I didn't really understand how I suddenly was on this borderline pre-diabetic that everyone talks about today. Um, he suggested I read a book about the paleo diet. Um, he also warned me that if I continued doing the same job, the same routine, that I would have the back surgery. And I really thought about it, and I was also very scared about being pre-diabetic, because you still have a chance to change when you're pre-diabetic, and most people ignore it. Um, so I read the book, and I said, let me try it for 30 days. I said, I doubt it will work, and then I can modify it if I want. Um, the first 30 days, I'd say I lost three pounds, nothing happened. But the second 30 days, I adjusted a little, and I lost five or 10 pounds. By about five months, I had lost 20 pounds. It was healthy weight. I never looked heavy, so everyone was surprised Surprised I was even doing this, but I was learning to eat in more cycle times, smaller meals. I still eat too fast, but one of the things is really not to eat too fast. Um, I was making sure I drank water because what had happened previously at my job is I was eating a lot of, in and I will say, these can they're candy bars, whether you want to call them in-kind or candy bars, I was doing in-kind because I thought they were healthier. And I do attribute to the fact that the honey and the sugar from those bars, which we assume are healthy, also triggered some of my problems. And I would have salad or I would have fish or I would have meat, but I never had them together. And the combination of these foods also was a problem because I was doing them separately. And somehow my blood sugar levels weren't well and I didn't realize it. So uh, my blood sugar showed up as 150 on a test at work. And that's what triggered me to be aware that I was pre-diabetic. And I denied it thinking it was ridiculous because I was not overweight as far as I could see and I didn't have any symptoms. So the first thing is after having read the book and talking to the doctor is I continued because I was already doing a little bit of exercise and I continued and I did some PT, um, but I really feel a factor of what helped me was A, losing weight and B, I did change jobs. I no longer worked the 14 hour day. I did pay the price of a pay cut, but I got back the work-life balance because I can go to the gym and I could take care and spend time with my family. Um, I had a standing desk, so I don't want to leave that out. The doctor before I came here said to me, oh, go tell your office you need a new chair. Well, they don't do anything if you don't walk in with a prescription and they don't do anything if you need a new chair. Um, I put in through the ergonomics and there are departments and some companies and many companies that will allow if you come in with a prescription to the medical department and you may have to go through a hassle because I did to get a standing desk. Um, I had a standing desk for about six months until I found a new job. As a result of me having a standing desk, that firm now has 12 standing desks for the other people who work these long hours. Um, when I changed jobs, I made sure about the work-life balance. I don't have a standing desk anymore, but I only work seven or eight hours a day and I make sure I get up a lot. So I guess what I'm saying is everyone should give it a try. And if it doesn't work, you can always do the route of doing the surgery, but I didn't want to go that route. I still play tennis against doctor's orders, but um, that to me is really an important thing. So he really changed my life. And I can actually tell you it was from one sitting 
just getting it straight from the hip and being told to try something holistic or we can go the route of injections or medical. And I think you should always try the first things first and it takes time and it doesn't cure it necessarily 100% but it can alleviate it and it can help so that you have definite life quality. I wouldn't say that occasionally I'll get a stiff back but overall I don't have the same pains and I don't have any arthritis in my fingers anymore because of the way I changed my uh, eating as well as I stopped paying Candy Crush. Thanks.